With new hope on the vaccine front, so far more than 45 million Americans, 13.6% of the population, have received at least one dose of the two-shot vaccines. And Johnson Johnson has now released encouraging data just ahead of the FDI review this Friday for their single dose vaccine. Johnson and Johnson now working overtime at its Memphis story facility to get its single shot vaccine out as soon as possible. This as that concerning new variant spread through New York City with Johnson is at a mass vaccination site here in Manhattan with the latest on it all. Good morning, Whit. Michael, good morning to you. That new variant here in New York City is only adding to the urgency to speed up vaccinations. Researchers still don't know if it's more contagious or more deadly, but still it needs more study as well. This as many of the vaccine makers are already preparing booster shots to deal with these ever evolving variants. This morning, early evidence that a new COVID variant is now spreading rapidly in New York City. Researchers arguing this could be yet another variant of concern like the UK, South African and Brazilian variants. We really need to accelerate our, our rate of vaccination and it's all hands on deck to try to get the American people vaccinated. Some of the variants raising questions about the impact on vaccines. Pfizer announcing they're talking to regulators about testing their own variant specific booster, offering a third dose to 144 clinical trial participants. Moderna taking similar action, sending modified vaccines for the South African variant to the NIH for testing, including a combination formula for those getting their first shots should that become necessary. And there is new hope on the horizon. Johnson & Johnson on the verge of adding a third vaccine in the U.S. This one shown to be effective against the variants. The vaccine provides very robust protection uh, throughout the world, including against the worrisome viral variants that we've been hearing so much about. New data showing Johnson & Johnson's one-shot vaccine may be 100% effective at preventing hospitalization and death. An early analysis hinting it may offer 70% protection against asymptomatic infections, making those vaccinated less likely to spread the disease. The FDA meeting tomorrow and could give emergency use authorization as early as Friday night. If the J&J vaccine is approved, it will uh, provide an increase in vaccine supply to the U.S. and to the world and will accelerate the vaccine rollout. Up to 4 million doses ready to ship right away, 20 million by the end of March, but that's below earlier estimates. The White House now saying it's working with Johnson & Johnson to speed up delivery. If authorized, we are ready to roll out this vaccine without delay. The NIH also launching new research to study so-called long haulers. One third of COVID patients say they have persistent symptoms for months after contracting the virus. People like Caitlin Dennis, the former college athlete, now on daily medication and fighting brain fog. Some days I can go around the block, but once you've crossed that line of it being too much, my body just shuts down and I'm in bed for a few days. Now back to that new variant here in New York City. Researchers say they've identified at least 80 cases across the tri-state area. They also say that it shares a mutation in common with a variant from South Africa and one from Brazil, but it is unique on its own and again will require further investigation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.